Is your bench press sticking point the only thing that's keeping you from lifting heavier weight? Well, I'm going to show you today how the fix for that might just be lifting lighter weights. What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com. I talked about in the open, sometimes when you're trying to get a bigger bench press or to break through a plateau that you've been stuck at for a while, we can't really start right here. What we have to do is start over here at the board. I want to show you something really quick about why the board, the whiteboard, is going to explain everything of what we need to focus on. And it's right here. Force equals mass times acceleration. So now, we know when we're trying to build a bigger chest or to be able to increase our bench press, we want to be able to generate more force. The more force that we can generate, we're going to start to activate our type 2 fibers more efficiently. Right? The more force that we need to generate, the more we have to recruit extra muscle fibers dipping into, again, this higher level type 2, which is going to be the ones that will hypertrophy. You can see that we can increase our force two different ways. We can either increase the mass or the weight that we're lifting. So if you're a guy going after a 300 pound bench press or a 400 pound bench press, you can increase the weight there or you can increase the acceleration of the weight, the speed at which you move the weight. So why is that important? Well, let's go over here and I'll show you exactly why that's important. Because even if you're an athlete, one of the more efficient ways to do this is to actually work on that second component, which is the acceleration of the weight. So if you look at a traditional bench press, if I'm down here, now I did it in a Smith machine, so I can show you another technique after this that actually can really help you in, in trying to do this. First, if I'm going to go in here and do a bench press, again, I'm down here, my sticking point is usually in this area here, okay, right in that area, from here to here. And a lot of guys, once they get it past here, they're okay. They can move more weight. So some guys will stick to working out in partial ranges to work on increasing their bench press. But especially from a functional standpoint, if you're an athlete, you don't always get the luxury of working in the partial range out here. A lot of times, you'll have to get all the way down and be able to come out of it. So how can we train you to be able to get through that? Well, we want to introduce the acceleration component. So when you're in your bench press, the biggest component what you should be working on is trying to accelerate that bar off of your chest all the way through from the sticking point all the way through the top. So it would look like this on, for me, 135 pound load. Okay, all the way up and control all the way down, accelerate it up, down, accelerate it up. Okay, now. Watch what happens when I put extra weight on there. It's going to go a lot slower, but in my head, I'm going to treat it as if I'm moving it just as fast. So if I put 225 on there, and I get under the bar, that's as fast as I was moving it last time. Okay, so those reps, I feel as if I'm moving it just as fast as I was prior. That's the effort I'm trying to exert. Remember, a sticking point, Newton's law of motion, right? An object in motion tends to stay in motion. An object at rest tends to stay at rest. If you find that you're sticking here, the best way to overcome a sticking point is to get that thing in motion quicker Learn to train your acceleration before the sticking point so that you can accelerate through the sticking point and never get stuck there. One last tip for you guys, if you do have access to a slip machine, if you don't, you can use your dumbbells and do the same thing. Accelerate your weight. It's an important concept. If I have a Smith machine and I'm a bit more of the advanced trainer, I wouldn't start with this. Only again, these I kind of reserve for my top level athletes, but here's a drill. You can actually accelerate by letting the bar go. It's a good way to train yourself to get that bar off your chest and through the sticking point. I'm here, and I literally throw it and decelerate on the way down. So I'm accelerating all the way up until I let it go. Okay? 
So, again, advanced technique, but a great way to teach yourself to become more explosive and more accelerative to then, obviously, not just break through your sticking point, but that will increase the force based on that equation I showed you. Remember, it doesn't always have to come from increasing the weight. And what you're going to find is the more force you can generate, the more weight you'll be able to lift over time. So don't always use weight and stacking that up as a way to measure or, or to gauge the way that you're going to progress to higher and higher weights in your bench press. Guys, these are just some of the things that we cover in Athlete Next. Remember, we don't want to just approach things um, you know, without taking a scientific look at how to do it. These are equations that have stood the test of time long before me or other meatheads out there have sort of invented them and applied them to the gym. They're laws of physics, but we can apply them to what we do in the gym so we can get bigger, stronger, and faster, and that's what Athlean is all about. I'll see you guys over at athleanx.com. If you haven't already, guys, go over there and grab the 90-day training program. Start utilizing real principles to start not just increasing your bench press, but functionally increasing your entire levels of strength and power and becoming a much better developed and more effective athlete. I'll see you guys again in seven days. In the meantime, if you like this video and this helps you increase your bench press, make sure you leave a comment and uh, thumbs up below. I'll see you guys back here next week.